Hey everyone, it's Corey with Utah Dream Properties and Keller Williams. Today we're going to talk to you about interest rates in 2024. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. All right, everybody. So obviously we're real estate agents and we are not lenders. So we went and talked to Natalie Dayton, who's with IntraLend. She does a lot of loans with us. She's a fantastic person and a wonderful lender. So we got some information from her because there's a lot of talk on what's going to happen in 2024 and all this kind of craziness is going on. Don't worry, we're going to bring her in and we're going to do an interview with her. So we want you to send your questions in of what we want to ask Natalie when she does get here. She just gave me some stuff to do a quick preview. So let me talk about, a, about four points that she sent to us and we'll get that out to you. So first off, for 2024, the Fed has said that they are going to lower the fund rate. Now, that doesn't directly mean that they're going to lower interest rates, but it usually correlates into interest rates ticking down. And they said they're going to do that about six times next year. So we're hoping to see some rates follow when the Fed does that. And Natalie will explain that way more in depth. The second thing, let's talk about this a little bit, the labor market. Anybody that's out there working, anybody that's doing anything in the, in the labor market right now knows that it's definitely weakening, right? So we've got um, the Fed wanted to slow everything down and they definitely have. Uh, there's definitely signs of weakening in the labor market. Also the economy. So one of the big things that everybody talked about a year and a half ago is the Fed is, oh my gosh, they're gonna raise rates. Why are they doing that? Well, the reason why they're doing that is because the economy was going off the charts and inflation was going up. So they wanted to pull that back a little. Well, now they're definitely showing there's signs of recession. Um, the economy has definitely changed uh, for sure. Uh, and then they have data to back that up now. So the economy is definitely a factor in why we think rates might come back down a little. And then next year is an election year. So yes, we wanna see you go to the polls and vote. Also, every year that there is an election, uh, historically, you can go back and look at the data. Obviously, the people that are currently in the White House, doesn't matter what party it is, they want it to look as nice as it can. So maybe that will lead to some interest rates coming down so that they can say, hey, look at what we've done in November, and then you'll vote for whoever is sitting there at that time. Remember all those things when you go to vote, though, right? We gotta make, take that into consideration. It's not just one year, it's four years that they're in there. Um, so we've got the Fed fund rate's gonna come down, or is projected to. We've got the economy, small signs of recession in different places. We've got the labor market, definitely showing signs of weakening, and we have an election year. So all that together, no one really knows, right? We don't have a crystal ball. We don't have anything that says for sure that's going to happen. But when you start putting all those little pieces together and you take historical data and you look at it, it's definitely showing, and, and most people, including Natalie, who will be here uh, next week, think that the rates are gonna tickle down. So does that mean we should wait to go buy a house if we're buyers? No, of course not. The right time to buy the right home is today, right? We find the right property, we, we buy the property. Obviously, if you buy the property now and you wait, or you, I'm sorry, you're in the property and the interest rates come down, that's great. Natalie can refinance it for you and you'll save money anyways. And then you also have your home. There's another little thing that goes along with that and we've been talking about this a lot, especially for our buyers. Remember, right now, you get to go out and negotiate when you go buy a house and there's more things to look at. If all of this stuff happens and rates do come down, it's definitely gonna, it's projected to be kind of chaotic again, meaning you're probably not doing much negotiating, probably not gonna be able to take a lot off of the price, not gonna get closing costs taken, and you're gonna be back to having three houses to look at is what it's kind of projected at, especially here in Utah, where we're down 33,000 homes overall for the whole state. So demand is still there and it's pent up right now. Once interest rates come down, floodgates are probably gonna open. So if you're a buyer, just remember that. Right now we can negotiate for you, we can get you still a good deal, and you can refinance when the rates come down. I don't know when that's gonna be. I'm not telling you that it's gonna happen for sure, but that would be the best plan. That's what we're doing personally. We just bought a property a few months ago and we wouldn't uh, tell you to do it if we weren't doing it ourselves. Also, sellers. Right now, more things on the market, so we have a lot of competition. So should we wait to put our, our home on the market? 
until rates go down and more buyers are out there buying. It's, it's bananas again. No, because we don't know when that's gonna happen. Gary Keller is very famous for saying, okay, show me when the bottom is gonna be and then bam, it hits and it goes back up. We have no idea when it's gonna hit the bottom. We have no idea when it's gonna rebound back up. So once again, if you're looking to sell, please call us, we'll help you out. And we'll negotiate everything the best you know, possible for you. So with all of that being said, we're gonna have Natalie here in a week. Please send us questions that you would have for her. Uh, you can email us, you can text us, however you wanna do that. All of our contact information is down below. And remember, Bree's hard at work every Friday, putting these videos out and she is exhausted doing this. She needs you to like and subscribe to give her a little energy. Good to hear from you. Thank you.